So there are always trade-offs, right? We might come up with an opportunity that can be, you know, have a cost-saving opportunities, but we might not have enough, you know, labor or capacity to support that growth. Yeah, the definition of resiliency is, as far as we are concerned at JABO, is ensuring that we have a supply chain that can cope with any level of disruption. The interest that we're seeing this week at, at Gartner is really across the board. There are companies that have product risk either because the product is, is fragile or, or because it's valuable. There are companies that have reputational risk and there are companies that have risk in terms of their supply chain complexity, maybe automotive. And there are companies that that have all of that. Everyone's talking about the same things, right, which is supply chain resiliency. And the challenge that there is in the market in a lot of conversations that I'm having is 60%, maybe even 70% of supply chains are built for cost, cost avoidance, cost reduction, and those types of issues, uh, and less so for resiliency. It's not just about technology, it's about people, it's about process, where are those opportunities to be more agile, you know, take an outside in approach around new forms of intelligence to really empower uh, team members to make better trade-off decisions. And obviously we're a big part of that you know, enablement. I think supply chain has definitely become more and more important. For all, everyone who works in supply chain, they are taking a much more important roles. Uh, and that's not only about, you know, shipping, um, the products to the customers, but also about uh, sustainabilities and uh, saving costs for the organizations. So I think that's uh, the most exciting part, uh, which is uh, you know you are taking a more and more important role uh, in the organization. Yeah, I think uh, from a data perspective, over the last uh, I would say five years or so, there's been a, an appetite for collaboration, especially when. Uh, the current disruption that we're experiencing in the electronics supply chain. It's been such a pervasive event. There's no sign of it ending. So the need for folks to communicate better, uh, provide more transparency, and find that way of collaborating so that we can all get uh, our products to market. I think uh, we've got a very uh, mature, trusted, and, and deep relationship with Supply Frame. And when I think about it from how we do business together, it's all around data and supply frames certainly assist Jabo in building a more resilient supply chain. It allows us to communicate more effectively and more efficiently with our suppliers, which I believe um, are again helping towards building a more resilient supply chain.